I think everybody is born a tinkerer. It's a natural impulse that we have as children to try and understand things by putting them together in new ways and discovering new relationships. a formal definition of tinkering as the activity between when a project is constructed and when it's finished. It's that time when every element of the project is sort of there, but it's not working the way you mean it to. So you have to tinker with it. You have to, you have to play with it. Engaged learning is better than disengaged learning. It's one of these statements of obvious truth. You know, no one in education argues with this idea, and yet Without saying it out loud to each other, we fall back to these very memorization kind of uh, systems of learning out of textbooks and you know, getting prepared for the tests instead of these highly engaging learning experiences that are more natural to the student. There's like the forced engagement that you have kids doing their work because they want to get the grade or because they're worried about getting in trouble. But I think what we're trying to create is not that forced engagement, but that intrinsic engagement. Kids that are invested in the outcome of the project, not because they want the grade or the pat on the back, but because they really want to see this thing happen. We're discovering more and more that the future is collaborative and that a true valuable skill is being able to work with other people. And so at Brightworks, we try and give kids opportunities to work in pairs, to work in big groups, to be project managers, to be helpers. We give them all sorts of opportunities to collaborate. they grow up and they have to solve the great challenging problems of the world, they're prepared to be really skillful communicators and group workers. The role of the educator in our school is to work alongside the students, to learn with them, not to give knowledge, but to put that knowledge in their way, to connect them with experts and resources and tools that they might need to get their idea into the world and to create something and to learn something. The revolution is to focus on the habits of lifelong learning, of playful problem solving, of collaboration. Those are the skills that will take us through the 21st century. I think to revolutionize education, we have to scrap those desks that are sitting there looking up at the board where the teacher is standing. When educators learn alongside their students, when students teach each other, when we're constructing knowledge together, everybody's so much more invested and engaged. Yeah.